first question? Yeah. First yeah. question? How are you? That was always my Jeopardy answer. You guys didn't get that? <laughs> what is the first question? Uh, French Surrealist for 300, please? You probably would get that, too, wouldn't you? Did you ever go on Celebrity Jeopardy? No, I haven't, but I had a lot of friends from college who went to make the big bucks. Yeah. And they did. And they won. And they did. Now, this amazes me, because I do watch Jeopardy religiously. And? And I never know any of them. Honestly? I do, but the bad thing is I make up things, too. I, I you know... Uh, what, what is, what is uh, the country of Timor? And it's not even about countries. <laughs> you know how much relief I feel knowing that? Because I imagined you at home sweeping every category. No. Now you did. You went to Yale. I did. Smart kid to get in there. Uh, yeah. Did you take your SATs? I did. What were your scores? I don't remember. The liar. Surely You're wouldn't... so much a liar. <laughs> every person remembers their SATs. Was, I was not a good test taker, I have to tell you that. Really? No, I wasn't. But I spoke lots of languages and did other things. So. And you Hopefully. didn't actually go to high school, did you really? Or oh, sure I did. You yes. went to an actual high school? I went to an did... actual, very strict high school, French school. All my studies were in French. Uh, yeah, even science and math and sports and stuff like that. No kidding. Yeah. Did your mom choose that for you, or was that your decision? No, she did, actually. Well, you know, she, she was a big Francophile, and she had been to Europe with me, and, she's, and uh, I, I would start making up things in different languages, even though I didn't speak the languages. So she decided I should go someplace that focused on that. And I ended up in a French school. Not bad. <laughs> now, did she encourage you to become a child actor that, that you were, or was it your Well, interest? you know, not really. My brother was an actor, and then I kind of became an actor, but we don't really know why. I guess the kid across the street was one, so everybody wanted to do it in Los Angeles. And then uh, it kind of was steamrolled, and then I just, I just kept on it. You but really she, you worked she, a lot. She kept saying to me my whole life, she said, you know, I just want you to know this won't last. So um, what do you want to be, a doctor, a lawyer? You know, she kept uh, trying to confuse me and make me want to do something else. Right, which actually worked out well. Yeah, it did, Because actually. you're sort of the poster child for child actors who can grow up and, and be okay. Yeah, a little bit. Really okay. I guess that's true, yeah. There are some casualties out there. <laughs> What do you think it has to do with? Do you think it has to do with the family or the specific um, child? You know, well, I guess it's a combination of both. But I always say that's a little bit, you know, astronauts, there are some of them, they, they, they're, they're brain surgeons and, and great astronomers, and then they get up in space and they can't stand the gravity and they just keep throwing up and they can't, they can't do any of it and they can't stand the solitude. And then there are people who, uh, who you wouldn't imagine that and you put them in a space capsule and they want to stay there for the rest of their lives. You know? So it's just a question of sort of what your makeup is. And it suited me really, really well. I really enjoyed it. I got to travel all over the place and talk to people like you. Like me? Yeah. Oh, Jody Foster. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little nervous, to tell you the truth. Yeah, you know. Too. Yeah. You were nervous? Well, because we're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> sort yeah. of similar outfit. A little bit, yeah. yeah my, mine Dale made for me. Oh, good. Yeah, he, has to, he made it special. It's called butterscotch. Yours is more of a cream. Yes, okay. <laughs> now that we have that straight. You know what I loved uh, when you got, won your Academy Awards, that speech that you gave about your mom and cruelty? Do you remember this? Because somebody says when you win an Academy Award, you're in a blur. You don't even have a recollection of what yeah, you said. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I really don't remember anything. And uh, I, I have um, one of those personalities where if I prepare something, it comes out really terribly. I, I, I can't get a, a sentence to, to, see what I mean? See? You can't, like, you, you just you can't get it to I can't, mush. you know, I, I, anyways. But if I don't prepare, and if I'm completely nervous and totally stressed out, somehow I get up there and I say something that seems to make sense, only I don't ever remember it. No, so it was something about it. cruelty, about how your mom said that cruelty is never an option? Or? Uh, yeah, I think, I can't, you know, I, I've, I've seen the tape, so I, I basically said that uh, cruelty might be very human and, and very cultural, but it's not acceptable. And I think that was something that she Yeah, that, what a great little thing that she, she put in your head as a kid. Now, I remember you as a kid on all these shows. I remember you in Court of Eddie's father. Is that right? Totally remember you. You beat up Eddie, right? It's a right? little embarrassing. Is it embarrassing for you? You were so cute. Not that you're not cute now, but then you were so cute. Yeah, well, I guess cute in that kind of funny, funny-looking kind of little way. <laughs> not even. We have a clip of you and the Partridge family. No. Yeah. Nick and I, one of those shows? Uh, you know, I, I do occasionally, but I have never seen that one. Do you have memories of doing that specific episode? Yeah, I do. Well, I, that was pretty, you know, like the whole idea of David Cassidy being in the same room as David Cassidy was a big thing for me. Pretty so, overwhelming. So I do remember doing that show. I had David Cassidy bell-bottom jeans. <laughs> Did you? They were like hip huggers, and mm -hmm. they were really flared, and they had a little red, like, iron-on David Cassidy patch on the bottom. Oh, very nice. With little flowers and stuff like that. I remember the iron-on things. Those were good. Yeah, they were nice. Remember that hanging there kitty t-shirt like mm -hmm. this? The little cat? <laughs>
memories of the 70s we're sharing right now. Yeah. We're about the same age. Yeah. 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 If we were in high school together, we probably would have been friends. Or, you know, you would have beat me up. And... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> would have beat you up. One of the two, you know. I would have gone to the principal and said, you know, I tried everything. But I don't... <laughs> I reasoned with her. She just keeps punching me. <laughs> she took my devil dogs again. I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> we have more to talk to, to with about. Hello. Sure. I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> Is it an O? Is it Jody? Yes. We'll be back with Jody. <laughs> No, that's not my voice. That's not my voice. Now, that doesn't surprise me. No, they Because they I heard me. that, I thought, what is that? Yeah, I don't have a high voice like that. No. No, no, no. Now, what was wrong with your singing voice? Actually, like nothing, but um, they dubbed the rest of the actors in the movie as well, and so then they just decided they would dub me, too. Yeah, it sounded a little Minnie Mouse-ish. It was a little Minnie Mouse-ish, and my voice is, you know, deep and all that, so I've been basically holding a grudge for all these years. <laughs> you could um, rectify the situation now by giving a little Tallulah medley. I could. <laughs> My name is Tallulah, my first rule of thumb. I don't know where I'm going or where I'm coming from. I'm never gonna because the ones upset me. You may forgive my going, but you won't forget me. Wow! Thank you. No, see, no, wouldn't that have been better? That, that would have been nice. It's a nice floaty <laughs> belt. Did you do musicals when you were in school? No. No, you didn't. No, 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 I really can't sing. But I, but I, but I used to do a lot of that, um, I used to do a lot of the standing in front of the mirror with the, you know, all that stuff. Hairbrush. The hairbrush. Broomstick. What did hairbrush, you use? Wooden broomstick. spoon? All of them. All of the above. I'm afraid. Yeah. You used to do the Jackson 5 in your backyard? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I also, I liked Flip Wilson a lot. You know, I used to do all the Flip Wilson stuff. Geraldine. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Were you first, I would, first I would be Flip, and then I would turn around, and then I'd be Geraldine. Were you allowed to watch TV when you were a kid, or did you have oh, one of those yes. artsy no TV homes? Oh, no, 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 no. We were a big old TV home. Favorite yes. show when you were a kid? Oh, well, you know, I was kind of one of those sensitive. I liked Kung Fu. Kung Fu. I like Kung Fu. <laughs> Grasshopper, if you take the stone from my hand. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I was on that show a couple times. You were on Kung Fu? I was on Kung Fu. Who'd you play? I'm a, I have been on every, pretty much every 70s television show there is. Yeah, you really have. <laughs> Do you have a favorite one when you remember back? I, I uh, well, I did love Corchovetti's father. I thought that was a great show. Yeah, that was and, good. And I had a good time doing Mrs. that. Mrs. Livingston and all. Yeah, and, and um, you know, I like those, those really bad three camera shows, too. And I was on the Glenn Campbell show. I liked that a lot. Did you ever do Sonny and Cher show? No, but I was opposite Sonny and Cher, and so I, I vowed I would never watch Sonny and Cher because, of course, they were very popular and my show wasn't. What, what was your show then? Was it? I can't remember. It was a three-camera show I did. I think it might have been Bob Carroll, Ted, and Alice. You guys wouldn't remember that. It was, it was on for about a minute and a half, but it, we loved it. <laughs> you had fun. Yeah. Now, are you going to direct again? You, you yes. had uh, two wonderful films that you Thank directed. You. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, to. Little Man Tate, <laughs> which I loved at Home for the Holidays. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I love directing. Yeah, it's, a, it's the most fulfilling thing I think you can possibly do. Was it hard to direct yourself, Little Man Tate? Very hard to direct yourself. Um, you don't realize it at the time, but then suddenly you get in the cutting room and you realize that you only got what you expected and not any surprises. So it tends oh. to be a very sort of by-the-numbers uh, performance. Start to finish for a movie like Little Man Tate, it took about a year or more? Uh, a little more than that because I was with it for a while trying to get it off the ground, so a couple of years, yeah. Went home for the holidays, uh, yeah, a year and a half, two years. You think you'll always continue to act, or you'll still do both, or does well, one I, I, think, I think I'll always continue to act. It's just a question of when. And I, I don't like to act unless I really love it and really believe in it. And mm -hmm. I, I uh, otherwise, I'd rather go see movies and go to the gym and travel and do things like that. So, uh, so I tend to only work when I really, really love it. You go to the gym a lot. I don't. You don't? No, I don't. But I say I do. Yeah. <laughs> that, should, that should count for something. <laughs> but you are pretty fit. You stay in shape. I am. I like to hike a lot. This is what I like to do. You're a hiker. I am. Now, you see, nothing could bore me more, Jody. <laughs> the thought of a big dirt mound and then sweating to get up to the top. Why? <laughs> you know, it's like, what's up there? I don't understand. You could get a postcard with pictures of flowers. And you're done, you know. <laughs> Can have a snack. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big hiker. You have a brand new movie that opens tomorrow, Contact, yes. uh, based on a really wonderful book. We're going to talk to Jody about that after this break, so don't do it. It opens tomorrow, Contact. That's pretty much the story. I don't, you don't even have to set it up. There you but, go. Yeah. You, you get to go, huh? 
I do get to go. Yeah. I go. You go. <laughs> and I, I'm not telling you what I find. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. I absolutely love the book. Yeah, I do too. It's a, it's a really incredibly intelligent film and, and also incredibly exciting. And usually you don't find those two things in the same film. Right. Had you worked with either Jim Woods or Angela Bassett before? No, never. Uh, although I think I went to school with Angela Bassett. I just didn't know her then. And, uh, and, and Jimmy, I've met, you know, you can't miss him. He's he so, is truly he is the crazy. Has he ever been on your show? Yes, he has. Oh, my God, he's so funny. And yeah. actually, I think he is probably the smartest person I've ever met. Yeah, he's actually pretty good at Jeopardy himself. Yes. yes, yes. No, he's a good guy. I, we've had dinner a few. He talks so fast, too. Yeah. Got to keep, keep up with him. Yeah. Now, do you have another movie planned now? Are you going to take some breaks? I don't. I like to take time off. Yeah. I, uh, I don't need to work that much. Uh, and this was a big, huge, epic film, so I was a little tired at the end of this one. Right. Now, your dog just celebrated her second birthday? Yes, she's two. Wow. She's That's two. a big day. She had a, she had a really bad first birthday. What and happened? Well, it was kind of, it's, it's a sort of a, it's actually a really terrible story. Um, but I want to hear it. So tell well, I was, I decided, I got her all excited for her birthday. I put her little birthday scarf on. I said, we're going to go to the park and, you know, food, 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 food. And uh, that's all she responds to. And uh, <laughs> I took her to a cafe. I thought, well, I'll get a coffee before we go. And like a moron, I sat there and I tied her leash. Don't ever do this. I tied her leash to an iron table. And she was sitting there, you know, totally mellow, and then suddenly she saw a bird or a squirrel, and she took off with the table following her. Oh, no. And now she's running down the street going, why is the table following me? <laughs> and trying to get away from it, and this iron table is just crashing on either side of her and into her, and then she's running and running and running and running, and I can't catch up with her because she's an incredibly fast, muscular dog. And then she runs, of course, right into the you know, four lanes of traffic. And, uh, you know, all the cars sort of stopped. They're really good in Los Angeles. They know about these things. They stopped, and there she was sitting there with this table right next to her, and she's just standing there at the table. <laughs> and, um, you know, no damage except that all of her nails were down because from the running, and so she was all bloody and terrible. And, of oh. course, she spent her birthday at the hospital. And uh, I brought her back, and she was all happy because they gave her little pink booties. You know, these little pink wrapper, wrap-around booties, and uh, she kept trying to take them off. I actually have a picture of her. We, uh, we t uh, took, the, took the pink booties off because they didn't, you know, pink was not, not a good thing. And we made her black booty. And there she is, as black booty. You can see with a little white, uh, oh, with a little white the tie. Baby. To, she, she didn't like the boots. And is that and the birthday scarf? Yes, she that's has the birthday on scarf. There? Now she yeah. tried to take the boots off, and now she's dancing black booty. <laughs> <laughs> and this year, any plans for the birthday celebration? Uh, no, but I mean, we could sing Happy Birthday to Lucy, all of us. All righty. We'll do it. This audience is up for anything that involves singing. Oh, wait. The Happy Birthday song. It's really expensive. You can't, you can't sing the Happy Birthday song. Let's just say we did because it's really expensive. You know what? Money is no object when it's Jodie Foster's right. dog. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. 